Take marker, memoir of a snail. Let's get right to it, action! What's going on, Animal City Movie Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. Aknola, Ryan 680. I'm Angela at the end. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. You know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that little bell notification to get notified for our movie reviews in this case or trailer reactions we got going on for you guys. But let's get right to it. Award season is upon us. It's here. Oscar nominations. Uh, here it is, guys. Award season's come. Uh, Oh, this is the time of year where movies are just coming out later this year. Mufasa, mm -hmm. Moana 2, Wicked, Gladiator 2, uh, which Gladiator 2, I expect to have at least a few nominees out of there, right? Mm -hmm. um, but needless to say, uh, this is definitely the, the time of year where movies are just so artistic and so different, so peculiar, so unique in its own right. And they really push, uh, studios really push for them to be nominated for movies, uh, nominated for um, for uh, for the Oscars and everything. But let's get right to it. Angela, what are we talking about today? So we are reviewing a little bit different animation style than we're really used to, but I absolutely yeah. love this style. Yeah. Uh, we are reviewing Memoir of a Snail. Memoir of a Snail, guys, is a 2024 animated film that follows Grace, a stop motion animator, and she recounts with her estranged twin brother, Gilbert, after years apart, directed by Adam Elliott. Known for his unique, heartfelt storytelling, the film waves themes of family and self-discovery and it stops motion animation, darkly comedic humor, yet touching style. This film is celebrated for its emotional rich narrative, presenting a whimsical yet grounded journey through personal reconciliation and growth. Okay, all right. So Angela, let me ask you this, because we, we always talk about emotion, uh, emotional animation films, and that this year has, has been such a huge, huge, uh, part of animation films this year i feel like this year has just been really big films animated films have just been better than the than the live action films this year a lot of them have been and i gotta say you know i'm very surprised i'm i'm just shocked how how much great animation we've been getting not only has you know pixar we, we, inside out 2 we got the wild robot dreamworks knows how to make people cry and everything now not just only pixar now but what did you think of this film angela what did you meet your expectations what did you love about this movie and and yeah what did you enjoy about what was the elements you really liked in this film uh so when you said it was an emotionally rich narrative i 1000 <laughs> percent agree because <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh you know coming right into like the first five minutes of the mm -hmm. film it's so sad and it's like you see she's trying to she's oh she opens it up by telling a narrative of her life essentially and mm -hmm. you see she opens it up with all these terrible things that have happened in her life the main character grace pudel and it's so sad <laughs> <laughs> but it's so like, like it hooks you right away because you want to know where she's going with this right yeah and i didn't know what to expect coming just from the title alone i didn't look into it to see what it's about and see any trailers or anything about her beforehand so i was kind of going to this blind and i was like memoir of a snail what could this be about but <laughs> it hooked me right away and oh my gosh the story was so good like it's so compelling i couldn't look away i just wanted to know what happened to her and you know you you're rooting for her right from the start because mm. you just feel you know so much for this character you you want her to succeed in life and the voice actress for this we had to look it up because it doesn't sound like her no it doesn't. and i was very surprised it is her yeah was succession, sarah snook yeah. from succession uh she plays uh, uh shaban mm -hmm. and so i i will say i loved this movie a lot more than i thought i would mm -hmm. i didn't really know what to expect they blew <laughs> me away it was such a good story and i love stop motion by the way i just yeah i love it like i know I always harp on about like Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas and everything, mm -hmm. but I really liked it even before well, just, that too. Like even Wallace before and, that, like, Gr like Wallace and Gromit yeah. was like what I grew up with watching. Chicken Run. Yeah, so like it's so cool to see this come back again. We haven't seen this style in, in a while, yeah. and I really, really, really like it. So I really love the animation. I love the story. I think it's going to be a surprising film for a lot of people, and I really encourage people to, you know, look past. You know things you might think oh a snail memoir snail oh it's sad no it's hmm. it's it'll it'll definitely pleasantly surprise you i do encourage people to see it and give it a shot you know enjoying the magic of movies and everything and and, and that's the thing with this film is that it's so emotional gets you sucked in gets you <laughs> <No>. <laughs> has this emotional grasp on you 
and and whether you know it just i mean us as human beings us being artistic and everything i just you know we all we all have our own itch we all have our own way of showing our passion and everything and i feel like adam really showed his passion in this film project here and showed us a, uh, showed us a a very strictly narrative story that has huge human elements into here and really show us that not everyone's the same and it has such rich uh, narrative here and i really enjoyed that a lot one of the things of course i'm going to mention uh, uh, we have seen recently that's just beyond fantastic along with this of course was the isle of dogs remember that one that was really was great really uh, by G by wes anderson uh this stop motion is truly remarkable i feel like that not all stop motion is the same i feel like they're all different they all they have, have their style yeah and and it's crazy because you would think that it would be all the same the no. same uh not the not even the same characters of course not but more so like the same uh uh, colors and but they're all different colors they're all different themes there's so much rich story you can really put into this and i really appreciate that from adam and i really appreciate it, that from this from this film and everything it takes commitment to, to yeah do stop motion. takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of patience a lot yeah. of hard work yeah. to bring this to life and yeah. i commend every bit of the crew who worked on this all the animators yeah. all, everyone that put and i have to say this, it, it yeah. paid off so much it's an adult animation film guys <laughs> by the way funny. so which just keep funny. that in mind it's listed i know we had <laughs> i told you beforehand it's listed as a genre as tragic comedy yeah and it really is it's just a sad film but it's kind of funny <laughs> it's so good and i can't and we saw it we saw actually saw this movie at home I, I it hasn't even been out in theaters yet. I think it comes on theaters later this week. I really want to see it with an audience, just because of the fact that it's just it, just to see everyone's emotion. I'm I'm weird because I like to see everyone's emotion when it comes down to like audience expressions, audience reaction to films that I loved at the same time. And this movie's definitely gonna make my top five for definitely for the year. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a, a strong yeah. emotional story, and I I enjoyed every bit of it. This movie. I mean, there's there's so many single elements in here that connects it all. It's very well written and it's very well directed. And it tells a simple story, you know, in, in a way to where you didn't know where it's going. It's very unpredictable. And I love that. I love that. Yeah, I, it's very unpredictable. I you will say, you don't I, see, I, don't, yeah, I could yeah. not guess any bit of like, where is this going yeah. <laughs> at all? Yeah, no. It was such a random out there. Like I said, all these things are happening to Grace. You kind of rooted yeah. for her to, that if she pulls through to the end. Mm -hmm. But I, again, it just boils down to really, really good storytelling, yeah. really good animation. Mem Memoir of a Snail is definitely going to be the best. Uh, it's definitely going to be hard because it's definitely one of the best animation films this year. And Is we talked best? about it. We talked about it. The Wild Robot, Inside Out 2, and this one will be in that same category for best animation. And I got to say, though, after watching it, I know we said the Wild Robot's definitely up there. It really is. But as far as Oscar work, as far as Oscar like winner mm -hmm. worthiness, I guess if you could sort of speak, um, I could see this taking the taking the champ taking the title it for best animation. It's different because you know yeah. in the past, but you know as far as Oscars like yeah. usually at like Disney Pixar. Yeah, but as far works. as popularity goes, popular. As far as popularity goes, I gotta say. Um, the wild robot takes the helm for well, sure. Well, yeah, because one, it's a kids movie. It's it's yeah, people it's, kids yeah. can see that movie. Yeah, this is a rated R film, adult film. Well, depending what category it might be in, it might even be in. You never know. It might cross the way to where it's, but I don't think it's gonna win though. No, Best but as far as animation, yeah. yeah. So not it won't have it won't have the pool reach as wild robot yeah. or even Inside Out too, because yeah. again, people see that with their kids. They see it as families. This yeah. one. Because it has some <laughs> <laughs> nudity, graphic scenes. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 classified as thing as rated R. So yeah. not everyone's gonna be able to see it, unfortunately. But yeah. again, we do still encourage people to see it. it again, yeah. it's really funny. It's it's a really good movie. It it turned out to be fantastically shot. Yes, and it was I just beautiful. cannot say enough good things. So I if enjoyed you do the have story. the chance to Yeah highly recommend it yes and i enjoyed the story i, I enjoyed the whole memoir and it literally is a memoir of a snail and it's so great when the titles really sink because there's so many sucky titles that don't make any sense but whatever uh was this the film we deserve to say hell yes it was uh rating one out of ten ten being the highest when i give this rating angela uh, that's such a hard question well i'm i'm, I'm gonna give it are you ready or no i'll, I'll go yeah no i'll give oh. it I'll give it surprisingly. I'll give it like a nine because Damn, okay. again, I think I was like I was. I'm gonna be the same. Yeah, yeah, because I, I was. Try, I was like 
we, we watched it at home. We had the privilege to do so. Yeah. And I, you know, was kind of like multitasking a little bit. But like mm-hmm. as soon as, like I said, that first five minutes <clears> took <throat> my attention, I, I found myself compelled to stop what I was doing to watch it. Now, that's just good storytelling. Like, mm-hmm. like it draws your attention. It kept my attention. It kept me guessing. You you really fall in love with the characters. They're just so yeah. fantastic. So again, I, I give it a solid nine because I really, for an, an animation that's really different than what you usually see. Yeah. I really can't wait to see it again. And it's I, very yeah, vulnerable. It is. It's very vulnerable. And and, and and I always say it a lot. And we always talk about it off camera is that we just love sad movies. I don't know what it is because this is definitely <laughs> so, between Grace and uh, Gilbert. You are cry. really emotional. <laughs> like you are invested in this movie. Yeah. I want to see that. This is a very sad story <laughs> and you're invested in throughout the whole movie. I recommend everyone to go yeah. see this movie. Now, and I talk about it again. It's not as popular as The Wild World or Inside Out 2. It's not. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if people are gonna go see it to go to go. You know, sold out theaters and everything. But I gotta admit, though, as far as storytelling goes, it definitely is a better story written. Definitely is a better story given out. But it's definitely gonna be tough going against the other other best animation that's films out there. That's arguable too, because yeah. you could debate that because Wild Robot has really good elements of like nature. Yeah. you know, being in tune with that, and I love people who animals. care about animals. Yeah, yeah, which is me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's very different. Yeah. I, it's going to be very hard for me. Like I said, if both are put up in that yeah. best animation category, yes, who I would want to root for? That that's that's a really hard question. Definitely, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. Yeah, if you know if this has a top contender, a chance to kind of go toe to toe with some other great films this I, year. I think it does. But uh, regardless, though, I'm going to give it a solid nine as well. I really enjoyed this film. This film gives us so many invested moments in here and at times you're like what the hell like really this happened to to grace and gilbert gilbert's story is just as good as grace's story and grace's hoarding is insane it's just (laughs) it's it's so it gives me anxiety it just so it's it's like dude it's just like girl girl you crazy Uh, anyways but um (laughs) hey you crazy at life and you crazy with the struggles that you go with and it just it definitely it's how life really uh the struggles of living your life and the struggles of just living without you know with, with the certain circumstances that unfold for you you know i'm gonna spoil it for you guys but and definitely a lot of obstacles for grace to unfold mm-hmm. same thing with gilbert as well it definitely uh definitely shows that and it's very it's very different you think it's going one way it's gonna go jump another way and <laughs> i gotta so admit crazy. it's so good but it's so uh, lovable but yeah, and again, yeah we, i'm definitely gonna own this movie yeah. i'm definitely gonna buy this film along with the course wild robot inside out 2 which we already have but needless to say i enjoyed this film this film is i have seen films and this is definitely one of their top contenders for the year and i'll give it at that it's gonna definitely be my top five when we, t- we talk about towards the end of the year uh we'll talk about our top 20 uh 2024 films oh, this is gonna be hard it's definitely a, the list <laughs> gonna is gonna be, be we're gonna talk about we're, we're gonna not, do a live show we're not even done there's no, still a lot of there's a lot of movies coming out so definitely a lot of films rich films are coming out but guys but thank you so much for watching question is for you guys what did y'all think of memoir of a snail let us know in comments down below what did you guys think are you in fantastic are you excited to see this movie are you like eh let me know in comments down below guys and we really appreciate it as always i'm your host ryan d a clone ryan 680 I'm Angela Thakalian. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe to us. Hit that bell notification. And see you at the movies latest.